Hello! Thought I'd film this one at a stupid angle, just to, I don't know, break the monotony. If you hate it, let me know in the comments, and I won't do it again. Spider-Man Homecoming is a film. I haven't made notes for this one, just because, I don't know, I didn't really have much to to write. Like, when, when I see a film and I don't like it, or I have mixed feelings about it, I usually have a lot to write, but if I like something, I'm just kind of like, Nice, it was good. And that's what this was. I enjoyed it, it was nice, and it was good. Tom Holland is great. He's my favourite Spider Man. Definitely, by quite a long shot. He's great as Spider Man and Peter Parker, which all very nice, because I think Tobey Maguire, he was quite good as Peter Parker, but as Spider Man, eh. And then Andrew Garfield, nice as Spider Man, but uh, as Peter Parker, nah, not so much. Um, but Tom Holland nails both. There's a lot to like in this film. They don't do the origin story again. So it does kind of gloss over that. But I guess they're assuming you know how Spider-Man is Spider-Man. And I feel, like, I feel like everyone does at this point if you're a fan of, of Spider-Man. You know, don't you? You know. You don't, we don't need to see it again, I guess. Maybe maybe a short mention here or there, just so it's solidified. So if if anyone hasn't seen the other Spider-Man films, they've got that explanation. But it, you know, it's it's alright. Tony Stark's in this. Um, I saw some complaints that he was in it too much. I wouldn't say so. I think Happy is in it more than Tony Stark, which is cool. We haven't seen him for a while. Is there too much Stark altogether in the MCU? I mean, maybe he's been in a lot. Of them, and he's a, he's a, he's a great character, and it's great seeing his progression. You know, oh, if you're nothing without the suit, you shouldn't have it. That's a lesson he's learned himself back in Iron Man three. So, and you know, with the whole Civil War thing, how he's come to that, um, it's good. But yeah, it's nice maybe to give some of the other characters a bit of a spotlight. When was the last time we've seen a substantial amount of Thor? Thor: The Dark World. Because you had like five minutes in Age of Ultron where he took a bath. Most uh, Marvel films that aren't team up make references to the other, the wider Marvel universe, you know. For example, Ant Man, I think a couple of name drops, and uh, oh, we should call the Avengers, no. And then uh, Falcon is in it for a scene, you know. They just do, it's, a, it's its own movie, but you know, they connect it to the universe. But this one, it wants you, it so aggressively plants itself in the Marvel Universe. Like, you, you can't go, you can't go five minutes without, um, Oh, by the way, Avengers, hey, make sure, you know, the Avengers are about. Oh, do you remember when the Avengers did that fight? Tony Stark, Black Widow, Avengers, Captain America, Vision. Ooh. There's just, just so many. Not that that's a bad thing, actually. I'm not saying either one is bad, actually. Uh, Ant-Man, he wasn't affiliated with the Avengers, so the amount that was in that film was was right, I think. And Spider-Man, he is affiliated with the Avengers. He's closely connected with Tony Stark, so yeah, okay, it works, it works. The Vulture is the villain, and he is very good, very... I like him. He's a good villain. Ah, which is nice because historically Marvel have had bad villains. But I think lately, like the Guardians Guardians 2 villain, that was a good villain. This one, Vulture, good villain, menacing and you you knew you knew his his motivations were clear. It was and it wasn't none of this, oh I want power, I want to be powerful, I want to take over the world, I want everyone to be to be to be bowing down to me, it's all about me, I want, I want that power. No, it's like, I've got to prov provide, I've got to earn a living and provide for my fam, you know? It's, uh, I should stop, I should start saying family instead of fam, I did that in my last review, but he, it's very, it's very down to earth and, and it's nice. Doctor Strange villain was pretty good as well. What was the one before that? Civil War? Zemo was good. Yeah, they've been doing good villains lately.
lately. None of this Malekith nonsense. Worst villain. It was good. It was like a, it was a high school movie. It wasn't superhero super. It was high school with superhero. You know. I thought before seeing this that pretty much all of the film was spelled out in the trailers, which I was a bit disappointed by. But there is more stuff. There's a <gasps> big reveal moment, which uh, I think I I gasped in the cinema. Well, at least my jaw dropped. I was like, oh, oh no, oh. Um, that's it's good. I enjoyed this film. Favorite Spider-Man film? Yeah, I think so. I think favorite Spider-Man film. I know I know Spider Spider-Man one and two are good, but I'm not that keen on Tobey Maguire. A lot of people say, oh, Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man, he's the only Spider-Man for me, no one else. But I think I would say to them, ah, but did you grow up with Spider-Man, him as Spider-Man? Did you grow up with him as Spider-Man? Because it might be nostalgia blindness, because I didn't grow up with him. I didn't watch Spider-Man until I was, until a couple years ago, and I was like... Yeah, that's right. It's pretty good. But Tom Holland is better. You know, everyone's welcome to their own opinion. I think Tobey Maguire pulls a lot of stupid faces. And then Andrew Garfield's portrayal is a bit more like, I don't really care about, I'm just, uh... I've kind of lost my train of thought. This is, what, this is why I should make plans, I should take notes. I think that's everything I have to say about this film. I'm going to give it a praise it, um, because I, I enjoyed it a lot. Marvel are definitely on a winning streak right now, since Ant-Man, although a lot of people didn't like Ant-Man. I love Ant-Man. Ant-Man, Civil War, Doctor Strange, Guardians 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, that's five in a row that I'm like, very good at. Thor Ragnarok's coming next, extremely excited for that one, that looks great. Black Panther, looks incredible, and then, oh boy. It's the big one, Infinity War. Ho, ho, hold me down! Yeah, I think that's it. If I have any afterthoughts about Spider-Man Homecoming that I want to say, I'll, I'll drop them into the comments. Or maybe the description would be a better place. I'll drop them into the description um, if I have any other thoughts that I think I should have added to this review. Let me know what you thought of this film, and who's your favourite Spider-Man, live-action Spider-Man? I don't care about the animated ones. Or do I? I haven't seen them. They're probably good. Who's your favourite Spider-Man? Uh, who's your... Oh, um, I noticed that there, no one's... None of the live-action Spider-Man films have attempted to do J. Jonah Jameson since um, the original trilogy, just because J.K. Simmons just nailed that role, didn't he? I don't think anyone could do a better job. So, I think all, all, um, so I think all subsequent Spider-Man films have just gone, you know what, just leave it. Uh, but, but yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time. Spider-Man.